What's up everybody? This is Whiskey in the Six, I'm Rob. Today I'm doing Bao Blair 1997. It's an ex-bourbon single cask. This one's from the SAQ, but before I get too much into this, I wanna to talk to you guys a little bit about Snups. All right guys, so this is Snups right here. All right, this is the group section which you would access pressing the little three men over here on the bottom. All right, this is the Whiskey in the Six group. I wanna show you guys that you can visit other people's profiles now and have a look at their collection. So we got Lee over here, he's an active participant, has an awesome collection. So I'm gonna click Lee right there. This is Lee's page over here. So he's got long-term samples, he's got moments, he's got empties, he's got non-whiskey spirits, American whiskey, world whiskey, blended scotch and single malt, all right? Um, if you're a member and you're a friend of Lee's, you can go into his collection and check it out. Um, I want you guys to ask some questions. We got Loaded Loco who just picked up the four new travel retail McCallans, which look stunning. Um, if you guys ask some questions, I can pick and choose for the next time to answer those in Snup's uh, videos, but Anytime you guys have a question, you guys can personal message me about Snups. Uh, it's growing, we're at now, over here it says 324 members. We need more of you guys out there, so join us. It's a lot of fun. Welcome back. All right, so this particular bottle was sent to me from a very kind gentleman in Quebec named Tamar. He bought this at the SAQ. It goes for about $200, maybe a little bit more than that, so not cheap at all. But it's bottled in 2017. That makes it about 20 years old. It doesn't say the months on the bottle. So we can just assume distilled in 1997, bottled in 2017. It's roughly 20 years old, maybe a couple months shy, maybe a couple months older. I'm not sure exactly. Um, Uncho filtered, no added color, single cask in one X bourbon cask so I'm assuming that this was um, bottled exclusively for the SAQ and they got all the bottles it's bottled at 57.3 percent ABV cask number is 1108 all right so for those of you who follow Balbalaire's single cask this one's 1108 you can tell they use really high quality bourbon casks for this because it smells like a bourbon, which is an incredible sign in my opinion. Um, I'm gonna be a little bit riled today because I just got back from watching Avengers Infinity War. So we're, I'm rocking the shirt. Uh, still a little bit rattled from what I saw. I'm not gonna give any spoilers away. It's a crazy movie, you guys gotta go check it out. I got my Captain America sitting up here. Once my son sees that, he'll probably steal it from the shelf. And I got my Spidey hanging upside down over here as well. He's a bit camouflaged because it's a gray, a gray and black Spider-Man. Beautiful nose here. Vanilla, caramel, Little bit of like a hay like earthy barley type smell. The sweet barley sugars in there. Like I said, 57.3%, but you wouldn't pick that up on the nose. On the palate. rich thick on the palate which is nice vanilla caramel that barley sugar for sure it's got some kick to it but it doesn't burn on the way down it's not overly hot in my opinion it will need some water but 
delicious at cast strength. Honestly, sometimes the only reason you add water is just so that you can have one or two of these without burning your palate. Pretty incredible that it stayed at 57.3% despite being 20 years old or roughly 20 years old. With water, it opens it up to a more barley rich smell. A little bit of like a damp hay smell as well. Still getting that vanilla. A little bit of honey now. Less on the caramel side, more on the honey. Creamy. Sweet. Syrupy. Get that vanilla. Definitely some honey there. Maybe some like apple pie-ish type taste, like a cooked down apple. A little bit of cinnamon, very, very little. Not too much oak. Finish is really nice, it's long. It's really nice stuff. Honestly, that's an A plus. Um, numerically, I'd probably give it a 90 or 91. It's probably gonna get better as I go down the bottle. Um, and if that's the case, then I'll probably have to regrade it in one of my lives. But <clears throat> what an incredible gift. Thank you so much, Tamar. Um, I'll enjoy this one. I'll share some with, with some friends as well. It's beautiful stuff. Um, I love Bal Blair. Honestly, I haven't had a Bal Blair that I didn't like. I, I made the 1990 my whiskey of the year. More recently, I tried the 1993 Gordon McPhail Bal Blair, which was absolutely stunning. Next weekend, I plan to open my 1983. Uh, it's my daughter's baptism, so I'll open that one up and then hopefully a review will follow shortly. I do have several bottles ahead of it in line, so um, it'll have to wait its turn, but I'm excited. I got some nice stuff coming in, so thanks to you guys for the support. Um, if it wasn't for you guys, I wouldn't be able to purchase some of this stuff. The Patreon support's really good. The merchandise sales have been nice as well. Um, obviously, the more the merrier, guys, because it helps put good stuff on this table. So if you want to check me out on Instagram, Twitter, Facebook, as well as Patreon, you can do so. Also, um, check us out on Snups. We're having a good time on there. Cheers, guys.